What is God's plan for your good health? Today we're looking at that whole topic of health and sickness and what is God's plan in all of that. How would he have you be healthy, be blessed? And so as we look at that, I want to welcome you. I'm Daryl Soul, and I greet you in the glorious name of Jesus Christ. He has asked me to feed his people spiritual food. So this playlist is designed to be spiritual food for you. It is designed to be healthy food. And you know with healthy food, there's the vegetables and there's the fruit and there's the meat. Well, spiritual food is a whole meal. And I want to invite you to join with this meal. It's not fast food. It's not just rice and a bit of flavoring. This is healthy meal, a balanced diet. And it's designed to sing to God, to pray. It's designed for you to hear God's word and to respond to him, to praise him, even in benediction at the end. And so join us for this meal as we enjoy slow food slow spiritual food for us all today but welcome and as i welcome you i want to begin uh, with god's word as we seek to hear what god's word says right at the beginning of the service it says this in hebrews chapter 12 and from verse 11 onwards it says no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. Make level paths for your feet so that the lame may not be disabled, but rather healed. Make every effort to live in peace with all men. And to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one misses the grace of God. And that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. See that no one is sexually immoral. Or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights. As the eldest son. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. He could not bring about no change of mind, though he sought the blessing with tears. Just so far in God's word. Shall we pray together? Lord Jesus, we want to thank you that we can come and worship you today. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are worthy of all our adoration and praise. And we ask that you would meet with us by your Holy Spirit. Help us, Holy Spirit, to learn how to follow Jesus in this journey of faith, to take up our cross daily and to deny ourselves and to follow you, Lord Jesus. Teach us whether we're going through the spiritual highs or the spiritual lows, to keep putting one foot in front of another. Teach us, Lord, to be done with bitterness and to find your joy even in the midst of dark days. Help us to find your plan for our lives, your plan even for our physical health, as we trust you. Lead us in this time, we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, welcome. As I said, I'm Dr. Darrell Soule. And I come to you on behalf of the Baptist Church of Rosettenville, and I greet you. It's good to share in this playlist together. Join in, sing along, and make this a time of worship if if you're unable to be with God's people in person, serving where God has placed you. And then a a reminder about this playlist. I want to encourage you to share the links with others. If it's a blessing to you, if it helps you, remember to pass it on. And remember, it's slow food. It's not fancy food. It's not polished and edited out of existence. But it's simply God's word for you today as we worship together. And then just some reminders as well. 
Christmas is around the corner and I want to encourage you to plan how you can be a blessing to others. Look for ways that you can reach out to those in need and share the love of Jesus in all the different creative ways that he leads you into. So be sensitive to the Spirit of God and may he direct your paths in these days. Also to remind you that next Sunday morning at the church is our Sunday school special with some song items and join us if at all possible and encourage our young people who've particularly been battered through this COVID crisis. Of course, that all depends on whether we're all in lockdown or not, but if we're still meeting, join us if you can. And then as far as giving goes, I want to remind you to faithfully give to God. Remember to set apart that first and best part of all that you've received. Don't be deceived by thinking, oh, I can't make it, make ends meet. You'll never make ends meet if you don't put God first. Put God first and he will make the 90% that's left over or even less stretch far beyond what you could imagine. He has promised that in Malachi 3, that he will provide and bless you and extend your resources beyond what you even imagine. So give him the first and best part, that first tenth of all you to receive. You can do an electronic fund transfer, the EFT into the church bank account, or pass it through one of your deacons and they can give you a deposit slip. But remember to give to God faithfully where he has placed you. And as you give to God also, let's remember in Thanksgiving this month, as we give him thanks and we seek to get better electronic equipment to get God's word out in these days. So let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you for an opportunity to give to you. We thank you for an opportunity to serve you in these days. And we want to pray that you would help us not to just flick through the channels, but to feed on your word, to sit down, and to take our time chewing through your word. Guide us, we pray to be good stewards of all that you bless us with. Help us to share our lives, to serve you in worship services by focusing on you and not letting all the distractions of this world keep us from you. O oh Lord, strengthen us in this, we pray, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.